the testing from high frequency transistors is a little bit tricky. You see my uh, high frequency transistors and when you want to test them there are a few ways. At first um, what is important about high frequency transistors well they have a low internal capacitance. The charge carriers can change very quickly due to that low internal capacitance just the same as with high frequency tubes. Uh, of course um, a transistor is another thing compared to a radio tube but the principles are somewhat the same and uh, their transition frequency is high. That means the frequency where the amplification has gone down to 1. That means that they can amplify high frequencies. Here you see a few of them. And I've made this high frequency transistor tester more or less in a definite way here. That's the circuit that I've published a few days ago. It's in another video. But when you want to test a DC, uh, sorry, a high frequency transistor, the DC current amplification is of course important, but it only gives an idea, a first impression about the properties. Here I have a high frequency transistor and on the uh, transistor tester meter I can read that it amplifies 10 times. But that is only an idea and um, it doesn't tell so much about the properties. Could be that in the real situation uh, when it's mounted in the circuit the amplification is better. So a good test is an oscillation test. And that's also a basic test whether uh, the transistor is ok, whether it has a certain amplification factor. And here I'm testing now on the basis of this schematic that I published a few days ago. This transistor, it's a BF459 television transistor, television old um, cathode ray tube, TV transistor, uh, etc. And you can see that it oscillates. So that gives an indication that there is enough amplification in this transistor to let it work as an oscillator. It only gives an idea. Also, and the in-circuit test is in fact the best test. The high, F, high frequency transistor uh, soldered into the circuit where it has to work and then you can test it. European types are from the BF family, also the, these transistors here. And um, it's important to tell that also field effect transistors have type numbers from uh, the BF family. So the BF245 is a field effect transistor and will surely not work in this circuit. This is only a circuit for um, NPN bipolar transistors. And some remarks about this circuit. Um, the oscillation is set by the caps. And when you make these caps, give these caps a higher value, it will oscillate on a lower frequency. And that also means that you can test high frequency transistors that don't want to work with this cap. I've done that here experimentally. So uh, when a high frequency transistor does not want to work on this tester, you can, for instance, bridge this cap here with a 1000 picofarad cap. 
But anyway, these are the best values to decide whether you have uh, a high frequency transistor or not. And here the more or less definite circuit. I have to say, uh, when you want to test it, the transistor, when you want to see that oscillation, move the potentiometer very slowly, because there is a quite critical point where it works and where it doesn't work, and that all has to do <coughs> with the high value from this capacitor. Because this capacitor acts as a reservoir for the, for the voltage and the current and the energy that's dumped into the oscillator, the voltage here moves very, very slowly when you turn that pot meter. So that's one important thing to tell. <coughs> 